Hello everyone, this is Rachan Deep Singh from the Millennium School Patiala. Welcome to our new session. Today we are going to start with the object detection in PictoBlox. So for that what we have to do, we have to open a new file in PictoBlox and we have to go for the Python coding. And after that we have to go for the environment and in that one we are going to select a picture. And uh, after that we are going to use a sprite and in that one we are going to select the square box once you have uploaded the picture for then what we are going to do we are going to go for the initiation of object detection and uh, we are going to include the object detection class and store that in a variable that will be named as obj and along with that we are going to include pen from pen class that will be stored in a variable named as pen and after that we will be using pen dot clear to clear any pen markings from the previous sessions so we will get a threshold of the object detection equals 2.5 this is the level of confidence 50 percent we want to keep for the detection of the objects we will also add following two functions for um, the object detection class that is analyze stage that will be used for analyzing image on the stage and disable box for disabling boxes that appear on the stage around the objects. Then we will be going for the detection of the objects on the image one by one and it will be putting the square box on the images and for that one we need iteration and for iteration we will be using loop for loop. For loop is used when we know how many images it has to detect. So along with that we will be using range function and range we will be starting from first and it will keep on counting the objects one by one and it will keep on incrementing that one. After that we will be going for the setting the sprite value as x and specifying the position of the x then we will be get a x position of the object by the count function then sprite will be going for the y position of the square box and get the y position of the objects then sprite will set the size of the square box and it will go for the width of that code then we will also make the square box sprite say class of the respective object that it detects and we will also use the stamp function from the pen class to stamp a square box on each object that it is going to detect. And finally, we will add a sleep function from the time extension to have same time between detection of the each and every object it is going to detect. So after that, we are going to run the execution code and we are going to press the run button then it will take some time to load the modules and in the end you can see that it is going to detect the bicycle person car and even it is going to detect a bicycle that is given at the behind means it can even detect small objects as well this means that our object is working properly so this was all about today's session hope you like the session stay tuned tune to my channel thank you so much Anybody out there, yeah, man.